Mayday, Mayday. DUI 1153. We have lost both engines. Request immediate landing at Palermo. The crew still hopes to reach an airport, but they have 70 miles of ocean to cross before they're over land. Crews are trained for almost anything. There's a checklist for them to follow to solve most problems, including what to do when both engines die. Both engines flame out checklist. Fuel supply, check. The pilots don't know why their engines have stopped. The only clue they're getting is a low fuel feed warning. A low pressure warning light tells the pilot that there's low fuel pressure going to the engine. Now, that could be a mechanical problem, or that, or that could be a, a contamination problem. The crew follows the steps laid out by the manufacturer to relight their dead engines. Fuel supply check. Power lever flight idle. Start button. Engine relight. Negative. Get Shokri. The captain asks the cabin crew to bring the onboard engineer, Shokri Habui, to the cockpit. Palermo approach. This is TUI 1153. We have lost both engines. Request immediate landing. The closest airport is in Palermo, on the Italian island of Sicily. TUI 1153, Palermo. Affirmative, you are clear for landing. Palermo approach, what is our distance to the airport? Your distance to Palermo is now 48 nautical miles. An ATR-72 will fall from the sky at a predictable rate. One foot down for every 16 feet forward. 48 nautical miles is further than the plane can glide. I don't think we're going to make it. If they can't restart their engines soon, they'll be forced to ditch in the sea. Ditching at sea is a very difficult decision to make because it's the hardest thing to do. You have swells, waves, uh, wind. Is anybody going to see you? How long can the plane float for? Landing a passenger plane on water is extremely dangerous. In 1996, an Ethiopian Airlines pilot was forced to bring his 767 down on the Indian Ocean. The ditching was reported by a tourist on a nearby beach. 50 people survived, but 125 people died. 